Hi everybody, I'm Lisa behind the cameras. Build together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. To start off our day today, we've made it to Bill's mom's house. We came over because they have finished the work on her garage. If you watched the video in the past, you may have seen all of the damage that was done when the woman smashed into her garage with her car. We came over today to help her put some of her stuff back in the correct places in her garage, clean it up a little. Let's go check out the work and see what a good job they did. Come on. Wow. You would never even know. Yep, they did a sound job. <laughs> Fixed it all up pretty good. I think it looks nice. What do you gotta say for oh yourself? My gosh, that got full of water. Is that good for it? What do you gotta say for yourself about your garage, lady? What about my garage? It's the cleanest it's been in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> How about the construction? Are you happy with the construction? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> They did a fabulous job. I wonder if that hurt fast to get wet. It'll probably dry and be okay. The only thing with this, everything's been fixed so far, but we have determined that this little sensor for the garage door opener isn't working properly, so it must have been damaged during the accident. So we have a follow-up job for the insurance company that they're gonna take care of, come out and get that fixed so that our garage works properly. Let's continue on. Oh, that's the only way I could work it, was uh, to lift it. I have some questions for you. First question, how are you feeling from your fall at the party? Um, well, I still have a bad back and two bad knees. <laughs> Did you hurt your back at the party? I don't think so, no, because... So no. how are you feeling from your fall at the party? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good from that? Yeah. So now tell yeah. us how you hurt your back. I hurt my back lifting the garage door every day and putting it down every day. Look how big mom's kitten has gotten she has had her now for about three weeks. Her name is Bella. And when she got her, she was about six weeks old. And she is the best, best cat. She just sits on mom's lap and falls asleep right between her two dogs. It is name. wonderful. Don't say my name. I can't, I'm not allowed to have a cat. <laughs> We've jumped to the Thousand Trails Wilderness Lakes Campground. Ta-da! We have found a great spot to park. And we picked up some delicious food at Red Robin. Yum! We are going to head to the back, divvy up the goods, because I don't want Bill touching my food. And then we will show you what we got. Let's go get situated. For Bill, low calorie plate, simply grilled chicken salad. For Lisa, high calorie plate, tavern double burger with french fries. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, let's see if I can pick this up here. Oh, they made it. <laughs> Instead of a bun, they made it protein style. All right, well, that's what we're having. I guess I have a healthy meal tonight, too. We're heading out for an after dinner walk to see what we can see. I don't know if you can see it, but all the little t -t 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 in the water, the little movements are mosquito larvae. <sighs> Makes me itch. The fish better eat them. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's a little bit of Disney everywhere. We found out why the country store behind us is closed and is, has been closed for a while until further notice. And it doesn't have anything to do with the COVID. It's actually because this building here needs a new roof. They are in the process of putting, getting someone here to put on a new roof. But in the meantime, they have so many goodies inside that are going to be expiring that all of the people that work here do get the opportunity to come in here each day and pick up a snack before the food all goes bad. And I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, I'm here for the ranger talk. All right, campers, we have three rules here. Rule number one, have fun. No matter what you do, you gotta get out there and have fun. Rule number two, have a lot of fun. You need to get out there, play some mini golf, go in the pool and have a lot of fun. And rule number three, and most important, have an excessive amount of fun. You need to laugh, you need to giggle, you need to play and have an excessive amount of fun. All right. What is the most important rule, campers? Party! <laughs> All right, let's continue on. We need to go see if that camper, the Allegro bus that was won in the auction, if it's still here or if they got it out of its spot. Let's go check, come on. All right, everybody, we've made it back to space 248. And as you can see, the Allegro bus by Tiffin is gone. They were able to get it out of here somewhere or another. They got it started and they got it out of here. And I hope that it is just wonderful for them and they get it all fixed up and sell it for a profit. I, f I really hope for the best for them. I'm glad to see they got it moved. Thousand Trails is good to see it move. Yes. And Thousand Trails was glad to get it auctioned off so they could get their money for that space since it's been sitting there now for a couple of years with nobody paying the space fee. So that's a plus. It's a win-win for all. And we had fun just attending, so there you go. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. We haven't been coming to the campground lately because it's been about 108 degrees here. But today, it was only a mere 100 degrees. So we decided we better get out there and go out in the van for a fun evening at the campground. Starting tomorrow, though, back to 108. I guess that's why they call this summer. It is hot and in the words of Olaf I love warm hugs and these days <laughs> you can't help but give a warm hug I hope you guys enjoyed our video don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe bye